Hello everyone, I'm the Dino Gamer, and welcome back to another video of Jurassic World Primal Ops. So recently the T-Rex boss event ended and we finished in a pretty good position where we actually got some epic crate DNA keys. So in this video what we'll be doing is just opening our prizes from the T-Rex boss event. So we have 800 common keys, so that's 8 crates. 600 rare keys, that's 6 crates, and 300 epic keys, so that's 3 epic crates. So we'll begin by opening our common crates. If there were a particular dino DNA I would like from this, it will be Acrocanthus, because just like this. Because we're really close to being able to upgrade it to rank 5, I believe. So we make it by far our strongest common dino and also that would be really helpful for the T-Rex boss event. Oh new dinosaur rescue. It's the Proceratosaurus, our a new rare dino. So this would be pretty helpful as well. We have four more crates to go. More Acrocanthosaurus DNA, which is pretty nice. Nothing great from this set. Two more common crates to go. Ooh, epic DNA. A Baryonyx, I believe. So that's pretty nice. Can't complain about this. And that's it, all common crates opened. Let's see our DNA, our Proceratosaurus. Let's level it up right away. Well, let's wrap the family dinos. So, power 490, which is very decent. It has 15 damage and 25 stamina. It's a pretty low stamina, but maybe it's great. Yes, we'll see. We also completed some achievements. That's 10 amber, really nice. And we completed our daily quests for the day. As some additional homo safety DNA. Great. Soon we'll be able to upgrade Homo Safely actually. In a couple of days. Wait, how far are we away from Acrocanthosaurus? Six DNA. I wonder. That's four. Just two more. That's three. So, we can upgrade Acrocanthosaurus to rank 5. Plus 47 power, 21 energy, and 3 damage. Well, this is a nice bonus to the video. We're on level 8 for T Rex, family dino is upgraded. And we can level it up as well to level 50. So, it's now by far our strongest common and second strongest dinosaur. We are pretty low on coin however, so I guess it's time to save up and sanctuary level 12. Okay and now back to opening crates. We can get an additional common crate so let's do that. Some rare DNA, so I can't complain. Now it's time for our rare crates. Definitely looks cooler, and some epic DNA, and quite a bit of rare. Okay, again, quite a bit of rare DNA. Four crates left. Some Carnotaurus and Antarctica Pelter. 
And the Antarctica Palace is pretty nice. Ooh, a lot of epic DNA. That's really nice. And two more. More Pro Proceratosaurus DNA. Very nice. And again, more Antarctica Pelta DNA. So let's take a look. Anything we can upgrade? Or we're close to upgrading? Hmm. We're pretty close with Cynosaurus and Pachyrhinosaurus. So that's pretty nice. Now, this is what you'll be waiting for the epic dinosaur DNA crates. Let's see. I want to speed this up because how often you open epic DNA crates? Hmm. That's pretty good, I guess, but I really hope it was some Velociraptor. Actually, you can't get it from these crates. Maybe some legendary. Allosaurus, that's pretty nice. And this is our last epic crate. Some more Allosaurus DNA. As well as a pretty nice bit of Baryon at the end, so that will be pretty helpful. So let's see. We have 21 Baryonics and 17 Allosaurus, so that's really nice. But this brings us to the end of our video. So if you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like or subscribing. And until next time, I'll see you later.